In a previous video, I showed you the Gospel for Kids app, which is a great app. But as a parent, I really don't love the idea of just handing my child my phone or my tablet without any kind of controls on it. That just seems too risky to me. I have great news for those of you who use an iPhone or an iPad. Apple has a setting called Guided Access that you can use to lock your children into a specific app. It will make it so the only way they can get out of the app is with a password that you set. Let me go ahead and show you how Guided Access works. To set up Guided Access, I'll first come here to Settings on my iPhone. You can also do this on your iPad. And I'm going to scroll down to Accessibility. I'm going to click on Accessibility, and then I will scroll down again until I get to Guided Access down here under General. And then I'll come up here and click this to turn on Guided Access. And you can choose your passcode settings right here. You can set up a Guided Access passcode, or you can go ahead and use Face ID with Guided Access. If you don't set up a password here, then it will ask you when you start Guided Access for a password. So I'm going to leave that alone right there and click on Back. And you come here to Time Limits, and you can control if it will make a sound or if it will speak when time is up. And then you can turn on this accessibility shortcut right here. So if you triple click on the side button, your power button on the right side, during a guided access session, accessibility shortcut settings will be displayed. And then you can also control how long it takes your iPhone to lock when you are in guided access. All right, so we have things set up right here. The main thing you need to just make sure is this is set to guided access. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Gospel for Kids app right here. And what I'll do is over here on the right, I'll click three times. And you'll see it pulls up this screen that says Guided Access at the top. And you can hit Start, or you can come down here to the bottom and click on Options. And you can choose the options that you want to have set during this Guided Access period, whether the side button is locked, when it says volume buttons here, it means will the child have access to be able to turn the volume up and down. Under motion, you can decide if you want that available or if you want the keyboard available and if you want the touch to be available. In addition, you can click on this and set a time limit to whatever it is you would like the time limit to be. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on done here and then click on start. And this is where it's going to ask for a passcode. And you can go ahead and type in your password. Now here in the app, if I come down here and try and swipe up to go anywhere to a different app or anything like that, or if I press buttons on my phone, it won't let me do anything because I have locked it in to guided access. When I'm done, I'll just come over here and click on the side button three times and enter that password. And now you can see the guided access settings here again, and I can choose to click on end up here. And that has ended guided access. I can go ahead down here and swipe up and you can see I can get to other apps now. For those times when you're wanting to allow your kids to access apps, guided access is a great tool. I highly recommend using it. Now you can open up the Gospel for Kids app turn on guided access and hand your kids your phone and not worry where else they're going to go on your device. It's a great tool. And if you're wondering what the Gospel for Kids app is, here's my video that explains the Gospel for Kids app. 